Now, everyone, welcome back. Today, we'll be having a look at Canoe. Canoe CEO Aquila buys 200,000 shares at $3.00. 98 cents per share that's quite incredible now this was done by tony aquila ceo of the ev startup canoe now he adds roughly up to 200,000 shares at an average price of three dollars 98 per share last friday from form 4 reveal this was revealed from a form 4 following last week's transactions aquila holds now a total of 2.5 million shares direct and 51.2 indirect shares by LLCs. So recently, the company signed a deal with Walmart to purchase up to 4,500 all-electric delivery vehicles, beginning with a lifestyle delivery vehicle, with an option to purchase up to 10,000 units. Now, the EV maker also confirmed the anticipation of starting production of the lifestyle vehicle, beginning in Q4 2022. How exciting. Now, this is very exciting. Now, the indirect shares held by LLC, it continues as 12.5 million shares of common stocks are held by AFV Partners SPV for LLC, a Delaware limited liability company. Next up, we've got 35.2 million shares of common stocks that are held by AFV partnered with SPV. That's 7 LLC, a Delaware liability company once again. Then after that, we've got 3.45 million shares of common stocks held by AFV Partners SPV7A LLC. Once again, Delaware Limited Liability Company. Now, the form explained that Aquila is managing the member of AFV, which exercises ultimate voting and vesting power with respect to the shares held by AFV4. Now, AFV7A adding that he had beneficial ownership of the shares held by AFV, A except to the extent of his pecuniary interest therein. Now, the price reported to column four is a way average sale price. These shares were purchased in multiple transaction price ranging from $3.62 to $4.23 inclusive the reported detailed now canoe recently entered a pre-advance agreement with ya second under which the company may request advance to up to 50 million us dollars and we've got a quote from canoe as well and i quote we're offering 50 million of our common stocks this is at 0 0.0001 cents per share by this prospectus supplement and the Accompanying prospectors directly to YA Second PN Ltd, a Cayman Island exempt limited partnership and affiliate of Yorkville Advisors Global LP, in connection with prepaid advance agreement that we entered into with YA on July 20th. This was in 2022. End quote. That also goes on to say that recently RF Lafferty analyst Jamie Perez adjusted the firm price target on canoe stocks to $17 while reiterating a buy rating on the share. The analyst explained that the cut from $20 to $17 reflects the increase in share counts and estimate the company's revenue to be at $700 million in 2023. That would be quite extraordinary if Canoe achieved 700 million in 2023. That's in revenue, by the way. That's not in profit. But that's if you believe that Canoe will end next year without a loss, without a negative to their pile of money. And by the way, they don't have a pile of money. They are actively looking for more investment continuously because to build EV vehicles, it's never easy. And Canoe recently released a new statement that they are planning to outsource their first delivery van their first vehicle. I believe this will be the lifestyle vehicle. So it's going to be interesting to see how that works out. And this is to fulfill orders that were made from Walmart. Very interesting stuff. Now the price of Canoe right now is $3.91. Since the start of today, it has been falling in price. It was high as $4.21 earlier this morning, but right now it's falling substantially as you can see. And previously, it's been a little bit higher throughout the last week at $4.28. But Canoe is one of those companies that are being shorted heavily. Because they're struggling for funds so much, it's almost too easy for the short sellers to think to themselves, hold on a minute, this is a great opportunity to make some money by shorting Canoe because it's almost a guarantee that they're continuously losing value within their company until they get some sort of perfect 
or good news to inject some positivity into their stock. Without that, they're continuously losing value. Because with Canoe, it tends to go from bad to worse with news. It tends to go from bad to worse. Now, if they do intend on fully outsourcing their production of their EV, well, time will only tell if that works out properly. But that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in our next video.